Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Today, for Meta Monday, we're going to be doing an interesting trap card out of Primal Origin uh, called XE Universe. Now, XE Universe is a normal trap card, and its effect reads, Target two face-up XE monsters on the field. Send both monsters to the graveyard. Then, special summon one XE monster from your extra deck will accept the number monster, whose rank is equal to or one less than the combined original rank of those two XE monsters. And if you do, attach this card to it as XE material. If you activated this card, your opponent takes no further damage. This turn. Whew. Uh, now, I'm going to say something. When I first read this card, XE, I thought XE Universe was just for your monster. I was like, this card's trash. And then I read the card a little more thoroughly, and it just said target two face of XE monsters. With that being said, we're not even going to be talking about using our monsters. We're going to be talking about using the opponent's monsters. So let's say in a hypothetical situation where your opponent would overextend and just drop two XEs at one time. It happens all the time. This card not only gets rid of their X seed monsters, but it gives you an X seed monster in return with material. There's so many X seed monsters that I can think of that are amazing because the general rank is rank four. That would be seven or eight. That would be summonable through this card. There's Draco Sack. There's Felgren. Um, unfortunately, there isn't Big Eye because Big Eye is a, th a number. But there's, uh, there's Draco Sack. There's Felgren. There's M7. Wait, is M7? Nope. M7 is a six. It requires seven or lower. But there's still so many monsters that I can't think of right now that XC Universe can summon. Like, that's just amazing. I'll just run that one copy of Felgren in my extra deck and then, you know, side these in on an opponent that likes to swarm and then slam this card and put it on them. And ain't nothing else they can do after that. It really isn't, because this curse is that good. Um, the effect that your opponent takes no further damage this turn, that's perfectly fine. Um, since it's a trap card, I'll probably be using it on their turn anyways. Um, the really th good thing about this card is that it's not restricted to either side of the field. And that's what I really like about this card. Um, and that, and it gives the X Seed monster material, which is amazing. Slamming a guy else on your opponent's turn, um, and then being still being able to negate one of their cards' effects is still really good. This also is a way to summon all those really, really hard X Seed monsters to the field, uh, those cast X Seeds and stuff like that. It's just that good, because you just use your opponent's monsters, you slam that cast X Seed, and you're like, bam, right there. Not get an amazing effect that doesn't really require much uh, much of a sacrifice for it. I think that this card can definitely change the way a meta is played just because of how it dictates. Uh, it, it says, hey, if you'd like to spam XEs, okay, I'm just going to put this card in there and I'm just going to deal with that. And even if even if my opponent doesn't spam XEs, I can use it to get rid of two of my useless XE monsters and then make a really good or decent XE monster. With that being said, I think it's about a 10 cent card. Uh, the trivia behind this card is the top card right here is Constellar uh, Plotomy M7. These two monsters are Constellar Hydes and Constellar Plytes. Um, they're sitting in front of the Shrine of Mist Valley in order to make uh, doing some type of ritual to make him. Um, I guess after this, the fight between M7 and Ouroboros is uh, going to happen, but first they have to make him because Ouroboros just might be just wrecking shit. Um, and as you guys can see by the attack score, M7 is 2700, uh, Ouroboros is 2950. I guess we can find out. I guess we already know who wins that match. But it'd be extremely interesting to see what Konomi actually, you know, I, I want to see a genuine storyline other than like, the crap that Konomi posts. Um, but that's for a whole different story. Thank you guys for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Please like, comment, subscribe. But most of all, enjoy.